The YouTube beauty community has changed dramatically over the years. There used to be only a handful of YouTubers, but now there are dozens of professional beauty influencers with their own makeup lines. And the more influencers there are, it seems, the more drama there is. In May 2019, Jaclyn Hill announced the long-awaited launch of her cosmetics line, Jaclyn Cosmetics. In her video, Hill promoted her collection of nude lipsticks as creamy and moisturizing, with a quote, custom blend of fragrance that kind of smells like vanilla butter cake. When they were actually released to the public, however, they didn't exactly live up to the hype. In the video The Truth About Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, fellow YouTuber Raw Beauty Christie broke down the problems consumers were having with Hill's lipsticks, as many had allegedly found the products to be covered in a strange film and filled with holes. Do I feel comfortable recommending these to you off of my first impression? Absolutely not. Most shockingly, some fans claimed the lipsticks were covered in fuzz. The product itself is unstable and not quality tested in any way. Following the backlash, Hill released both a video and an official statement on her website saying she would be issuing a full refund to anyone who made a purchase. But she reassured customers that the issue was in the manufacturing and had nothing to do with product quality. Tati Westbrook and James Charles are both huge names in the YouTube beauty community. Westbrook's channel has nearly 10 million followers as of August 2019, while Charles boasts 15 million. For a time, the two were best friends, with Westbrook acting as a sort of mentor to Charles. In April 2019, Charles posted an Instagram story promoting Sugar Bear hair vitamins, which happens to be in direct competition with Westbrook's company, Halo Beauty. As reported by People, Westbrook posted a since-deleted 43-minute video titled Bye Sister, in which she slammed Charles for both his alleged betrayal and change in attitude since finding fame. That May, People reported that Charles posted his own since-deleted apology video in response to Westbrook. Soon after, he released a bombshell 41-minute video titled No More Lies, in which the star claimed he wasn't erasing the sentiment of his first apology. However, his answer to Bye Sister was essentially a point-by-point -point rebuttal of Westbrook's video. In November 2018, James Charles released his first eyeshadow palette for Morphe, comprising of 39 rainbow-colored shades and including eyeshadows and pressed pigments. In his original swatch video, Charles explained that at first he didn't know the difference between eyeshadows and pressed pigments. As an artist, I will say straight up to you guys, some of these pressed pigments are a little bit harder to work with just because you have to use slightly different techniques. Charles went on to give advice on how best to apply the different formulas in the palette, but his video came under some scrutiny when it appeared as though he had faked or re-layered his swatches. On Twitter, users called him out, but Charles was quick to reply. Responding to a tweet asking if the shadows had been, quote, pre-swatched in the video, he said, Yes, a few shades I layered twice because the first swatch wasn't good or because I had to re-say my sentence and wasn't going to continue washing my arm, or that would really mess them up. Not hiding anything. Aside from his public friend split with Tati Westbrook and his questionable swatching behavior, James Charles has repeatedly found himself in the spotlight on account of his social media practices. In 2017, Charles stirred up the wrath of the internet when, according to Allure, he tweeted, I can't believe we're going to Africa today. OMG, what if we get Ebola? The vlogger soon apologized, but that was only the beginning of his trouble. In 2019, Charles did a collaboration video during which he implied that he wasn't, quote, full gay because he had been attracted to trans men in the past. Understandably, that didn't go over well at all, and he took to Twitter to apologize. But he'd soon make headlines again, this time because he allegedly tried to hit on a taken straight man. When Cosmopolitan reported on the YouTube beauty drama with Westbrook in May 2019, it referenced a since-deleted tweet from pop star Zara Larson that accused Charles of trying to flirt with her boyfriend online. When Charles explained that he hadn't known the man was taken, and pointed out that Larson herself had also hit on her model boyfriend online before they were dating, Larson deleted her original tweet and issued an apology. Ever since Jeffree Star launched his YouTube channel in 2006, the YouTube beauty guru has been something of a magnet for drama. But nothing would quite compare to the backlash he faced in 2017, when decade-old videos surfaced of the YouTuber making racist comments. In June, Star posted the video Racism to his channel, in which he addressed his old comments and explained that he didn't know any better at the time. It really makes me sick to my stomach to watch those old videos because what I was saying is not what I represent. Star spoke with Allure at the time and told the magazine that he was sad to see his work discredited because of the things he'd said in the past, which he said were done just to get a reaction. He told the publication, You see one moment and it's literally when I'm 19 years old. 
I'm 31 now and I look back at this and I think it's so sad that I spoke like that. I'm just tired of being accused of something I'm not. I owe you the truth and I owe you an apology. I am so sorry for my words. I am so sorry for everything that I've said in my past. Jeffree Star and Kat Von D's friendship spanned an entire decade before Von D seemed to end things out of nowhere in July 2016, when she posted a now-deleted Instagram photo of Star with his face crossed out. According to Refinery29, she captioned it, After years of making excuses for and rationalizing Jeffree's inappropriate behavior, including promoting drug use, racism, and bullying, I can no longer hold my tongue after recent events. Von D then posted the video, Jeffree Star, It's So Much Easier to Do the Right Thing, which criticized the vlogger. She took issue with the circumstances under which Star launched his own cosmetics line, which she claimed were due in large part to her connections. One connection allegedly included designer BJ Betts, whom Von D said was never paid for the work he did for Star. Star responded with his own video called, Dear Cat Von D, It's Easier to Tell the Truth saying that things had progressed, quote, past the point of just internet drama, and claiming his family was being threatened. Starr said that things first broke down with Von D when she pulled out of investing in his brand, but he was adamant that bets had been compensated. In 2007, Kat Von D left TLC's Miami Inc. and went on to star in her own California-based series, LA Inc. According to TMZ, an autographed photo of Von D was delivered to her former boss that was signed with an anti-Semitic image. Von D released a statement at the time denying the photo's legitimacy and said, This was already proven many months ago to be 100% untrue. I always have been and will continue to be an advocate for tolerance of all races, religions, and ways of life. Just to set the record straight from the beginning, uh, I want to say I am not anti-Semitic. Von D's issues seemed to end there, until 2018, when according to Revelist, her beauty brand posted a now-deleted Instagram image that many found to have racial undertones. In 2019, Von D took to her YouTube to denounce the claims dating back to 2008, which she said were the result of fear that LA Inc. would replace Miami Inc. In June 2018, Kat Von D found herself on one side of a heated debate regarding child vaccinations when she posted a since-deleted photo on Instagram detailing her pregnancy journey. BuzzFeed originally reported the post, which was captioned, Try being an openly pregnant vegan on Instagram, having a natural drug-free home birth in water with a midwife and doula, who has the intention of raising a vegan child without vaccinations. Finally, in March 2019, Von D posted a response video to her YouTube in which she flat out denied being an anti-vaxxer. I am not an anti-vaxxer. Um, what I am is a first-time mother. She went on to say that she experienced, quote, some hesitancy after her initial research on vaccine ingredients. Von D finished by explaining that she and her husband would be taking the advice of their pediatrician and that she had learned her lesson. I am choosing not to make our decision or any of our babies health records public, and I just want to thank you guys for respecting that." In August 2018, YouTuber and makeup geek founder Marlena Stell dropped a beauty bombshell on her channel, calling out the entire online beauty community for alleged shady behind-the-scenes behavior. I feel like I have a unique advantage. I'm not only um, a brand owner now, but I've been an influencer for the last 10 years." In the video, titled My Truth Regarding the Beauty Community, Stell explained that Makeup Geek hasn't been featured in the YouTuber community in large part because it's refused to pay the $60,000 price tag required to get a shout-out. I feel like I can take kind of a neutral side and say I think both parties are part of the problem that has happened in the beauty community right now, and I think it's really sad. Makeup artist Kevin Bennett immediately came to Stell's defense and backed up her claims with an Instagram post that outlined the price list that one, quote, top-level beauty influencer gave him. It included a $75,000 to $85,000 dedicated negative review of a competitor's product, of which Bennett said, yes, option three is legit, payment to damage the competition's business. Marlena Stell wasn't done with the YouTube beauty community when she posted her My Truth video in 2018. In June 2019, Stell released Dear Influencers, an hour-and-a-half-long video that outlined her decade-long drama within the YouTube beauty community. I'm sorry to be so blunt. I feel like my honesty and integrity that I valued so much and tried so hard for 11 years to keep with you guys has been dragged to filth, honestly." Stell went on to address the Jaclyn Hill lipstick scandal, surmising that Hill had gone to a lab that Stell's company had previously passed over on account of its lack of sanitary practices. 
Newsweek reported in late June that Hill had deleted the entirety of her social media accounts due to the backlash she received following Stell's video. Hill's final tweet reportedly said, "...I deleted my account because I immediately got hateful comments, and although everything I stated is 1,000% true, I need to protect my mental state first and foremost." When the Dramageddon of beauty YouTubers hit in 2018, one of its biggest casualties was Laura Lee, who had a racist tweet from 2012 resurface with disastrous results. According to BuzzFeed News, Lee issued a now-deleted apology video on her YouTube page, but it didn't seem to go over quite the way she had expected. Responses were numerous and immediate, with people calling Lee out for allegedly being disingenuous and trying to distance herself from her own actions. YouTuber Ready to Glare posted a response to the original video and said, "...whether the tweets were retweeted or tweeted originally by you, it doesn't really matter, okay? Like, the intention of the tweet is the same." Across the internet, Lee's apology became known as little more than a joke. Huda Katan is a beauty vlogger with a YouTube following of over 3 million people as of August 2019. She focuses mostly on DIY tutorials and beauty hacks, and in 2013, she and her sisters launched Huda Beauty with a collection of false eyelashes. The company has gone on to create even more makeup products, including its Easy Bake setting powder, which caused a stir in June 2018. And today, I want to talk to you guys about baking! Fans pointed out that it closely resembled a product line from a smaller company. When Huda Beauty announced its Easy Bake line on Instagram, the reception was less than warm, with commenters accusing the YouTuber of stealing the idea from Beauty Bakery Makeup, a cruelty-free brand whose tagline is, quote, "...better, not bitter." Comments ranged from calling the line familiar to outright accusing Huda Beauty of theft. In July 2018, Huda Beauty released an Instagram video that didn't quite address the accusations, but instead gave an inside look into the alleged development process for the campaign. For its part, Beauty Bakery posted its own response on Instagram, saying, "...Hey sweets, everyone's invited to the baking party, even Huda. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one."